Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to design a portfolio for your creative work in Canva. Now, let's get right into it. First thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Canva web application, which I've got something right here. And then the next thing is I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your design. Now, there are two ways to start creating your design in Canva. One way is to design, is to create your design from scratch, which is to click on this create a design button at the top right corner of your screen and then the next way is to get into the search bar and describe the kind of design that you want once you're done it's going to take you to a world of beautiful templates that you can choose from now this ready to use templates can help inspire you and bring out the creative god you are so, for the sake of this tutorial, let's head over to the search bar and type portfolio for creative work. Tada! This a welcome to your world of templates. But now to Boston Bubbles, not all the designs in this world of templates are easy to access. That's because most of the designs are labeled pro, meaning you have to upgrade your plan to access them. But most of them are not labeled pro. It means they are free and you can also find something that is free and sweet. Now let's find how or what we can do to get our portfolio ready. <laughs> Okay, this is 10 of 10 and it strikes me like a sweet one. So just open it and click on customize this template. So it's gonna take me to the Canva Studio and I'm gonna show you what to do in just a couple minutes. So we have 10 pages of this creative portfolio. How do I know? Here at the left corner it says apply all 10 pages. So click on that and all the pages are going to be displayed here. Awesome. So these are the pages. So how do we create a template or how do we create a portfolio of these templates? I'm going to show you using the best page or the best two pages and you're going to do the rest by yourself. Agreed? Awesome. So number one, I'm going to show you how to change text. So this is a text that you can change. So double click and change your text. Mm. Project management by Amy, and this is Creative Portfolio 2023. So you can edit this to the Uh, that's, that's how that's how I feel like writing it. So here I can change this to your site. Alright, so change that to the site that you want, and this is an element that can be changed or that can be removed. So now that I've shown you how to change text. The next thing is how to move elements. So this is an element, right? Hold your mouse pad and hold the left button of your mouse and move this. So you can definitely move this to here or you can just probably leave it here. So this is something that you're going to have to choose if it should be there or not. So I'm raising it upwards to see if that's going to be fine. I think it is. So I'm dragging this down so that I can be able to maximize the space in my design. All I'm just doing is drag and drop, drag and drop. So here is going to be here. As you can see, it's properly aligned. So this is a really fine picture. If I want to change it, I can head over right here to the left corner and click on uploads and scroll the way down until I find a picture of myself. And I'm going to change that picture. So I'm going to click that add picture. And now that I've clicked on it, and I'll drag and drop. And can see my picture is now there and it's moving so beautifully. I didn't click on it because I want that. Ugh. It's 
smart copy click on that to get your smart copy and click out now i'm gonna stretch this And then this, I'm like, okay, we're gonna have to change the color of this brown thing because it's just all brown, brown, brown. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Maybe this is better. Here is something, and it doesn't make sense again. So just click on delete. So click on element and here it deletes and then oh you click on more to explore more options i still don't like that do not have head drawn so click on this double click for smart copying mm. let me smooth it there so so i'm gonna click on this too that out and zoom this in that's because i want to get rid of that logo but as you can see you can just and then i'm clicking on this now to place it here somewhere here Let's just leave that. So I think I want to increase the font here too to 25. So 25 works. Now I can change this background color too to something else. There's a color. Is it not the color that I saw before? <clears throat> okay, I think this whole mixture color kind of suited so it's fine so here's how you can actually manipulate things now you can head over to the page two and do the same you can change the text change pictures manipulate icons or elements all right then you can even insert any kind of element that you want to insert by clicking on this left corner click on elements search an element that you want and you're good to go so this is pretty much the process. Do the same thing until you're done with all of the 10 slides that you have and get that stone in portfolio of yours. Now, once you're done, click on the share button. And once you click on the share button, click on download. And click on download, choose a download setting and ensure that your portfolio is saved in your systems folder. I can go back to the tab from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped you search.